But we there have we Seth there we from JVC. We got it. Perfect. So, so this is really nice. So, so this is, this here? is really cool. So this is this is a CS dash MS six twenty. This is a marine grade, really a motorsport speaker. Okay. Our, our JVC line, something that we're really going for is is rugged products that are built to last. And so this product here, this is something that we said, okay, well, we need to be able to find, uh, to provide an inexpensive, relatively uh, inexpensive product that is still rugged and built to last. Okay. And so this is something that um, was actually uh, much so designed in-house um, that uh, Daniel that works at our company did a phenomenal job with. He, he does a lot with packaging and with product design. And so we were able to really create something that looks fun, that looks unique, but is very, very rugged. And again, it just is, it, it's hitting the mark. These, imagine these in just a little UTV or a golf cart or something like that. Uh, yeah. Just just a great product at really a great price point. Well, I was going to um, say, I feel like the, the real selling point on this is the price point. It, it really is. And, it, you know, we don't talk about pricing type things much. I, I don't even know it, but, um, yeah. you know, off the top of my head, you're talking, you know, like, a retail fifty sixty dollar type product, you know, and pricing changes all the time now. So who knows what yeah, it is exactly. today? But we're not talking a three hundred dollar set of speakers, but we're talking about a product that performs like a set of, of now, several hundred dollar some speakers. Of, some of the yeah. key features of this is, uh, which you guys really, if you'll notice, that the tweeter is actually mounted to the spider legs here, and the mid base is free to move underneath that. Why that's important for a marine speaker is that if you had the tweeter connected to a pole piece in the center, yeah. you'd have to have some kind of a gasket around that. That's one of the things that makes the speaker more expensive. So by designing it with the spider legs to hold the tweeter suspended over, it's essentially a component uh, driver, although it is lined up like a coaxial uh, or multi-element driver. Uh, yeah, nice. But you, you end up with, you know, and it's super rugged, man. I mean, yeah. it's, it is. It feels nice. Let me see. Yeah, it is very rugged. Yeah. All right. All on right. to the next thing. Fernando is going to pop over to here with you, Seth. And since we just talked about what I would consider kind of the Kenwood version of this, but so a little bit different, let's yeah. take a look at this guy uh, because this has a little bit different twist to it. You know, with, with our JVC line, it's really – a big push on not only being built to last and rugged, but it's also about, you know, fun and that younger generation and, and appealing to just <laughs> right before you said that, I was thinking, damn it. I really like the, the line, the light, the, cause I'm a lights geek. I know mm -hmm. I am. I had lights in my car, but I was looking at that going, I want this one. So even though there's, <laughs> there's similarities between different products with our different brands, mm -hmm. there's also quite a bit of a difference because again, even if everything, all things exactly the same. Let's say if everything was the same on the back end, if the look of this appeals to you more so in the display, then it's a totally different radio to you. And you only want this one versus that one. Well, that's the same thing that, that we do with, with our products. And there's several things about that. You notice that the way that the volume knob looks and reacts, the yep. way that the buttons look on here, the way we have these designed, this fun little line around here. I love you the can line. change all of the different colors. Even the display itself, you'll notice it's a very, very different look. Um, so it's quite cool. Um, we also do something that, that just kind of for aesthetics and for the way most vehicles work, um, that's pretty cool, that's unique to our JVC product as well. And if you notice on the side there, how it kind of has that angle up like most dashboards do. Yeah, so you will going, see going like, like that, it's a little bit thicker on the bottom. And then um, I can't do it with my fingers, Fernando. You're the expert. No, no, no. Like, yeah, you can, you can, you can actually <laughs> see it. Right oh, no, there. you can, so, you can totally you see it. You can totally bottom, see so. it. <laughs> yeah. It's very nice. Yeah, so just uh, just a fun look. And so yeah. this is, again, going to have uh, Alexa built in with Alexa voice activation. We've got a CD version of this. And then we've got two digital media receivers, our 850 and the 855. Uh, the KW-X855 uh, is going to be the BTS. It's going to be our, our next generation of digital media receivers that didn't have a previous generation. Ah. So it's a step up. Right. So with digital media, we have the shallow chassis, but then we have some step up features like four volt pre-outs, um, three sets of four volt pre-outs at that uh, with this new 855. So, and then of course, 
uh, got to have the CD players still. Yeah, so we have right. a lot of CD players. So here, the KW-R950 VTS has that built-in CD player. So again, as you take a look at the way that the screen itself looks and the way that things work on here, you notice just how different yep. uh, the display is, how unique the display is, how you get into the different settings. Again, you want to change the audio. Well, if you just want these basic settings, it's just EQ right there. It's very, very simple. Yeah. Press and hold to no, be able to access yeah. your subwoofer yeah. instantly. A lot of people like a quick yeah, subwoofer right. turn on. So just press and hold and it pops up the subwoofer level control. If we go back here, you press and hold the menu button. You can access all of the menu features. Track up and down. Simple to get to. Be able to answer your phone calls or um, you know, answer hang up real easy to be able to access that information. So again, just uh, we'll get into the audio settings yeah, audio here, settings, color, color settings. settings yeah. You'll see that you've got several different selections. You've also got different zones. So you've got a zone here and a zone here. So you could change one to be, you know, we'll go with a, a red tone there. And then you can change specifically, you know, just how much of it you want it to be. Do the same thing with another zone. Very nice. So again, fun user customization. Yeah. No, Very cool. I like it. Any question, guys? Well, we have the map question price, but right now, like, map is... Well, it does... It, it's, yeah, yeah. There's, there's not really much we can do on that one at the moment just because, like, these prices, the, these are new products, so... Yeah. It's more showing the new products and pricing is almost all else. of the audio receivers are between 100 and 200 bucks. Yeah, and exactly. The, the stepping points from one step to the next is like 10 yeah. bucks on these. So yeah, it's, it's extremely it's, reasonable. Yeah, yeah so that's really nice. that's when you're looking at our website and you see what's available and you go from you know one to the next. You'll notice that it could just be HD radio gets you that that next bump. So um, because audio receivers, there's just there's not a lot of, of crazy, you know, technology. When you're looking at one one product to the next, you want to look at how many pre-outs it has. The just go to the right voltage. column, man. Yep, you just, just buy the just, best just, one. Just, just just go from one level to the next. No, just buy the best one. Go for it. I mean, yeah. Let's be honest. When you're looking at one of those, you just buy the best one you make. Yeah. Well, we, we hope so. Um, and you know, something else that's really great about our JVC product line is our K2 technology. So our K2 sound technology um, stems from our uh, Victor Studios in Japan. That's what really digitally restores the music back to its original state as much as it can. And that's something that, shoot, just about every one of our receivers has built into it. Um, well, speaking of, we, we've all seen this guy now. So let's switch to the next guy because we know this is what, this is pretty much what everyone is, is this, oh, this is what they all want. So let's, 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 Take a look at this bad boy. Switch so this here. is the new KW-M780BT. This is a product that is just in its infancy of beginning to ship. And this is a product that's designed for somebody that has come in looking for, you know, if you're, if you're just looking for something that does Apple CarPlay and Android Ooh. Auto, but you want to kick it up a notch to... Uh, a, a really, notch. really what are you talking, what are you several about? notches. I was going to say, this, yeah, is more, this is more than just one notch. I mean, several you got... notches. You've got your three sets of four volt RCA pre outs as opposed to two volt pre outs. You've got multiple camera inputs. So you'll see here there's a camera one and a camera uh, two input. This actually says video out, but this is the AVN. This is the rear camera input. The other one is the front camera here. But front camera, oh, yeah, let's it there you go. front camera, rear camera, and then this AVN here. I will show you a trick about that AVN if we flip it around. So the AV input itself, when we have the receiver in AV off mode, you can actually go into the settings here, and this will give us a good chance to look around at the way that the settings look, and you'll see the AV input can be changed from camera oh. to AVN back out of there so it can refocus on your hand. There so you it has, in essence, three camera inputs. So our entry-level CarPlay product, the KWM 56, 560, um, or 660 and 66 with the DVD mechanism, yeah. 
those uh, have just that single camera input. So this allows you to add in a front camera, a rear camera, perhaps a couple of side cameras instead of a front camera along with the rear camera, any combination of those three camera inputs. Yes. Very cool. This is also iDatalink Maestro compatible. Uh, we had that demo RR flash to the other earlier. So now it's uh, ah. connected to this, but it does have that mm, Maestro uh, RR <laughs> compatibility. Built-in HDMI, so you've got your HDMI Type D input there, recessed mm -hmm. on the back side. Very nice. USB input, and again, you'll see here we have some uh, some fun things with this JVC product. So if I take you back over to the home screen, so from the home screen itself, if we go into the settings, you're going to see something here um, that's listed as key, which is key customize. So this is unique to our JVC product line in that you want to instantly go to uh, one of your settings here. So key one, for example, if we wanted key one to always take us to our time alignment, okay, we'd select time alignment there. Now at any point in time when we're going to select our pop-up menu here, if we select this function button, then this function button here has these four settings here that take us to the different selections that we had just selected. Okay. So for example, here, you notice that this would be our time alignment right there if we had an active source playing, okay. which we don't have an active source playing. Um, so again, it just gives you these shortcut commands. So again, for demonstration purposes, I'll take us back here into the home screen. We'll go into settings and then key. Let's change key number three, which was screen adjustment. Let's change that to equalizer. When we back out of here now, we'll go ahead and access the home screen. So anytime you're on that home screen, then um, you can select the central button to change the clock from GPS sync yep. to uh, manual. Um, but what we'll do here is we'll select the function. Anytime you pop that, boom, it takes yeah. us directly into what we had selected. I didn't select the right one there because <laughs> uh, there because you go. Of, because yeah. it was grayed out. And why yeah. is it grayed out? Because you don't have an AV source selected. You don't have a source selected. So, so we, we we'll just... go ahead and go to tuner. We'll hit function. Boom. EQ, quick and easy to go. Now, it's great we have a source selected now because you can also see that we have these icons here. Uh, but with JVC, you don't have to use icons. You just slide your finger to the right you know slide that, your finger to the left that was the best part of when i was doing does it, does it have the, because it still has oh the volume the yeah. volume yeah, there's your volume you knob. See. so that's just your touch control so for those that you know think that they need to have a knob over there well guess what any point in time you just scroll your finger left or right to be able to change the volume control yes so we'll go this way volume up this way volume down track left track right all sorts of other fun yes. features with jvc i love i love that about jvc that has the ability to just change whatever uh I, I actually did that accidentally and i was doing this moving the radio and i'm like oh i just have it yeah this is so well cool. you thought it was funny because you yeah. showed me yeah because i had no idea yeah i know i'm like i'm gonna tell thee and you think about it when you're in a car driving yes that way you don't have to try to find that exact icon. You can keep your eyes on the road and you know anywhere on the screen, you yeah. can go to this side, you can go over to this side and circle. So it's sensing that movement yes. from all over the screen. So yeah. it's, it's really, is, it's a safe, it's a driver safety type feature. Very good. Way to spin it. <laughs> <laughs> all right. Um, wait, wait to spin it I see what you sure. did. Yeah, yeah, that was good. I, I, see, I see what you're saying there. All right, so um, we have one more. Let's let's raise the camera up a little bit. Yep, yeah, that there you go. Nice to go. I, I want to take this moment right here apologize. The camera, um, normally we have a wireless system, <laughs> works really well. And today, it just decided to not do that. So uh, for those of you worried about the little icons, I apologize. Yeah, I know. This thank you. Thank you, Weber. Just, Damn, just one, very two, three, cool. Four, JVC, just very cool. Yeah, I Love agree. Um, but I apologize. It's just, we're, we're yeah, you know, hey, it's, it's the joys of life. I, I, I got to, you know, go do more things. All right. So let's see. Go here. You good? Go ahead. Yeah. All right. This will be fun. <laughs> <laughs> All right. I'm pretty sure it'll be illuminating. Yeah. Oh gosh. Oh my gosh. All right. Let's let's 
Let's and there it is. Here. Um, so for those of you that were curious what the black might look like, uh, this is not the JVC, but it is the it is JVC. JVC. <laughs> it's not the Kenwood. Sorry, man, you're killing me here. We're dead, we're dead. Um, so this is the what what the what the black will look like. Obviously, it'll it'll look like the other one, but I feel this one has more appeal as far as what you can do with it. Well, you know, with our JVC line again, going with our rugged and built to last nature this is only going to be available as a black subwoofer in our jvc line because we're really um you know more interested in the motorsports type environment okay. with our jvc product you notice that we began shipping our waterproof amplifiers earlier this year the ks-dr 2001d perfect subwoofer amplifier that's again waterproof to be able to power this sub and then we have our ks-dr 2004d which is the four channel version. And again, has that uh, that black and red family look with JVC. Um, of course, we have our, our Bluetooth standalone version as well, KS-DR2104 DBT. Um, you same, notice on the back side here, as, as we talked about, you've got the ability to just loop from one subwoofer to the next or one speaker to the next for the illumination. So it makes it very simple. Just connect that power and ground right there. And then you've got this remote control to be able to simply change the colors. And I don't have to point it at it. It's RF controlled. So again, it is not line of sight up to 98 foot of range. You can adjust the brightness up and down. And you can put it in all sorts of, of fun modes and change the speed. And it's a disco, you know, baby. Whatever, whatever you want, you can make it happen in your choice of uh, 21 different colors. <laughs> uh, you know. There again, this this is a IP6 rated woofer. It is. It's yeah. designed to have direct splash. We had a really cool video when Japan was going through the IPX rating on this of it just having this literal fire hose. Whoosh, just totally. Don't, don't do that. Don't, <laughs> feel free to not do that. Um, but no, I mean, there again, this is one of those things where it's like this is this is a pretty woofer. And, and if it happens to get a spray of water here or there, no, it's going to be I was okay. just thinking yeah. for the automotive side of things. I mean, it's, you know, it's 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 compression compression speaker terminals healthy magnet it's, it's a beefy guy this. it's, 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 it's yeah. a very solid plus, it, plus it already has the grill on it so as far as i'm concerned this is just like like and these, it sounds really good i, I these got are, a rubber these are surround solid yep uh the poly mica style cone yeah um and the lights you can dance the music i'm like two of these in a porta box in the back of a car man these teenagers are gonna lose their minds so like <laughs> oh dude it's like a disco crazy so what do we got yeah. to look forward to with jvc well again we're really focused with our jvc line on on having a lot of fun we're focused on having uh, a product line that again is really really built to last and so doing more with marine and motorsports with jvc as well um you saw we we had our um gauge type receiver from jvc the kd-mr1 bts um, yes, and so exactly for Jeeps. Yeah, so that's a, that's a phenomenal style uh, receiver that fits in a lot of locations. It's it's water rated, so it's designed to have that direct splash on there. Um, so that's something you'll you'll be seeing from us, you know, kicking up a notch to to the next generation here sooner than later, and um, and some other fun, you know, marine and motorsports products um, with our product line. Uh, you will see that this style of receiver. Uh, the KW-M750BT. A little bit later this year, we will have one that uh, will support wireless Apple oh, CarPlay and wireless nice. Android Auto as very well. Very nice. Um, so we'll have uh, we'll have a, a step up version there. <laughs> and do, then, do you remember uh, that? The El Chameleon line and the radio yeah, and uh, yeah. all all sorts of fun stuff. And you know, sky's the limit. You never know what what we'll be able to resurrect. <laughs> um, we, uh, the hope is there, guys. Come again, on. we're we're trying to have fun with our JVC line. Um, you know, a little bit later this year, we're we're going to get into some more fun. We um, we want to uh, you know, we want to have some fun with with our JVC product line. We realize that um, you know, there's there's a lot of really really good history with JVC. Um, you know, from from LL Cool J, you know, rocking his JVC boombox oh, and his, geez, his, geez. his uh, rap videos, and uh, this is a you know. 
quick question about the uh, subwoofers. Are they free air or are they meant to go in a box? Do you know? Oh, that's a great question. So they're designed as a free air style sub. Okay. But um, in, in the box itself, in the packaging and on the website, uh, we did put specs so that uh, they are designed to, to be able to be built inside of a box and work um, inside of a box. And we did that. It, it's funny because um, you mentioned about how it could go in a vehicle and how, how great that would look. Well, we thought the same thing with the black subwoofers, especially. It makes all the sense in the world. Yeah. Why, why would you not? You know, you can absolutely put them in a box. Um, so they respect both. Oh, okay. So there you yeah. go. If you're interested, you can head over to their website and check it out. Fernando's feverishly looking through to see if he can find it. The website will not be live because, again, nobody's seen these stuff. Yeah, so we'll we'll put that out here in the the next month or two when when these products begin to ship. But I had to bring something that nobody's seen before. Because well, no, it's totally that's that's fun and um and it's it's exciting. This is the time of year you want to start thinking about. Um, you know, as you prepare for, you know, for the, for us in Florida, it never ends, but, uh, all year long, the, uh, you know, getting ready for the motorsports season is a good time, but, uh, just putting in a vehicle. Why not? Do you want to break this guy's heart or you want me to break it? The Kenwood Exelon radios have the same finger gesture controls. So. No, that's unique to JVC. Yeah, JVC I know, has right? Gesture controls. We have key customization, go. favorite customization. So, um. Again, Ars different. Uh, Arsenal was cool. Different. Yep. yep. <laughs> no, I mean, JVC has Arsenal that was unique. Cool. I know, right? Yes. We've had lots of conversations. Uh, will they go you on just the, wait. Will they go <laughs> on the Bill Camino? <laughs> Have you seen Bill's car? Which one? The not not the not the BMW. The his new. Uh, oh, the Hyundai. Yeah. Yeah. The, Hun the Hyundai truck. Yeah. 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 That's yeah. Good. That's, that's, good that's good what stuff. he needs. Um, well. Dude, I, I know this is gonna be hard to believe, but we're at an hour. No, it's crazy. Yeah, yeah. No, yeah. we're at, we're at we're at an hour. It is amazing. We say this each time, and I'm sure everyone <laughs> else says it, but it just it's it just it disappears. The time just it disappears. Yeah, so, but it's fun. It's 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 a great time. Yeah, no, we we had a great time. We always appreciate when you come on and show us all the the, the cool new stuff that we have to look forward to. As promised, uh, new products that are out. Uh, there again, we we try to bang through as much of it as we could. Um, if you saw something you like, head out to a retailer or go online, wherever you'd like to do. If you'd like to learn more information, of course, us.jvc.com, as well as kenwood.com slash USA slash oh, yeah, whatever. It just gets you there faster. Trust me, it'll get you there faster. Don't go kenwood.com. It's just like, I always make that mistake. And I'm like, click, click, click. When in doubt, just Google it. You'll, yeah, yeah, yeah. You'll yeah. get there. Type you'll in get Kenwood there. Car Audio. You'll get there faster. But either way... Um, thank you so much for coming on the show and being here in person and, and letting us all get to see and play with some of the new products that we have. Thank you, Dean. Thanks no, Fernando, no. for having me. Thanks to all of you for, for tuning in. I'm not thanking the camera it. that decided to break and ha break no. in the beginning of the show, but yeah. Hey, you know, these things happen. Listen guys, thank you for spending your Wednesday nights with us. And of course, don't forget to tune in Saturday. We'll be back here again. No guests, just a standard straight Q and a. So if you had questions and we didn't get to answer them this, uh, this day or Monday for that matter. Uh, make sure to tune in on Saturday and we will, I will put on my running shoes and try to answer as many questions as I can for you. Uh, Fernando and I will just, we'll just, we'll just go through it. It's just, I'll keep the answers keep going, short keep and going. to the point. Yep. Uh, don't forget to tune in Monday. We, we, we have our next guest on, which is Mr. Nick Wingate. We're going to be talking about amplifiers, uh, specifically the Moscone Gladen Focal style and then Wednesday, next Wednesday, a week from today, we'll have Brian Schmidt on talking about Master Tech Expo. Cool. He's, we're going nice. to make some announcements for that. You guys are going this year, right? We'll be there. Yeah, yeah. Big, big show. I think it will be. I think it's going to yeah. be a huge show. It's, it's, if you're not, we're going to be doing a lot of stuff out there. We're going to be giving away, I think, eight passes for, for guys Those to aren't come. cheap. No, they're no. not. They're, they're like 800 bucks. So we're going to be giving away six or eight. I don't remember. But... You still have to get your hotel and your flight. I mean, you've seen inflation. It could be a thousand bucks. It could be a thousand yeah. bucks by <laughs> this time next year. Yes, this is true. Well, we'll I, I, I'm pretty sure we're going to be giving Maybe away eight passes. Box. So that'll be a lot of fun. Uh, so, hey, guys, stay tuned to the shows. As always, you can find us here on YouTube and Facebook. And don't forget to follow us on Instagram, where we go live almost daily, at least three times a week, I've found, doing, looking at the numbers. And we answer questions there, too. So it's a lot of fun to catch up what's going on in the Bay. 
uh, make sure to tune in tomorrow on Instagram because we'll it's have fun. some new stuff we're going to be showing you. So it's pretty exciting there. All right, guys, that's it. Thank you, Seth, for coming on. Make sure to head over to their pages and check out their stuff. The subwoofers won't be up yet, but, hey, everything else will be. If that if those new short chassis radios looked appealing, they're fun. They're fast. They're so fast. All right, guys, you have a great day as always. We'll see you later next time. Bye. Bye. JVC.